Whoa. Did you hear about the new wild animal in the jungle? No. It's a grocery shopping animal called the Coles. <laughs> The friends, Sassy and I have lost 130 pounds each and we've kept it off for six years by eating foods that we love and this is the foods that we eat. So let's do a grocery haul. We got some new stuff. I'm really excited. Let's do it. We're going to do a new lunch this week, right? <gasps> yes. Well, we're going to do a new breakfast and new lunch. So some of this stuff you're going to see in other videos. So keep your eyes peeled because it's coming. Okay. Okay, the friends, we're gonna start here. We have a package of value size Black Forest ham, and most of this is from Walmart, and some is from Sobeys. We got 10 fat free, sugar free butterscotch pudding mix from this is Sobeys. And if you're in Canada, Sobeys is about the only place to get the sugar free, fat free jello pudding. Yes, otherwise, you have to get it online. We got a new flavor of protein bar because you guys have been saying to try this flavor we've never tried before it is the lemon cake protein bar i think that's the number one comment we've been getting on what to try is that because it's that been one? for like a year i know they also say to try the birthday cake fiber ones we don't actually get those here or we definitely would and we just recently got the lemon bars like the fiber one lemon no maybe? the i mean the uh, pure protein non-gmo ones yeah those haven't been in canada very long uh we got two boxes of smart pop the 94 percent the 94 percent fat free we have some flavor blasted goldfish kick it up a nacho love these the other goldfish they don't put any flavor in just those they blast with and, flavor um and they do that can you do those fish lips Hey, you good. Look at this cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got some Tex-Mex light cheese. It's medium cheddar, light mild cheddar, Monterey Jack, and jalapeno pepper cheese. Stay tuned, you'll see what that's for. We have two American mix of lettuce. It's iceberg and romaine with carrots, cabbage, and radish. That's what they eat in American. Apparently. <laughs> And then we got two veggie lovers, which is basically the same thing, except there are also pea pods in it. And like I said before, if you really love veggies, you wouldn't pick them out of the ground and ruin their life and <laughs> eat them. Yeah. You would just leave them alone if you loved veggies, right? So it should be veggie not lovers. Yeah, <laughs> veggie haters. <laughs> veggie haters should salad. eat those if you're, you know, if you're logically thinking. That is true. If, and if you're sassy, that's also true. So this is some, it's like a low calorie syrup here that we just found. It's a little bit runnier, like thinner than... See how runny that is? See, it's running. See, um, than the Walden Farms, but it's 35 calories for like a quarter cup. So that's really good. And it's like $2 in Canada, which is good. The Explorer made that. <laughs> that was good. That was, Sassy's kicking out the jokes. Did you see that kick? Look at guys, we got new cereal, and it, you know that it's not even November yet. And I they like got, your matching tracksuit. Yeah, we're matchers, matchers, matchers. Do you know they have winter cereal and Christmas cereal, and it's only like the end of October? Yes, I do, because we just went to the store and got some. Oh, we got some. So I did know that. Look at this. This is Elf, and it's maple syrup flavor. And it's only 100 calories for three quarters of a cup, which is really good. Shouldn't it be like spaghetti and maple syrup and M&M &M flavor? Isn't that what he puts in a bowl? I think it is. Yeah, it should be actually. But he puts maple syrup on it all. Yeah. So that's... Oh, yeah. True. So I guess that's what they took. Yeah. Should have M&Ms in it. But sugar took... Sugar? Not the wrapper, the candy. Yes. That would be weird. Yeah. Rapper. Sugar yeah. cookie, I was going to call it. Sugar cookie toast crunch. We have tried this before and it's really, really good. This is the best cereal on the planet. Don't fight me. And it, these cereals, if you're wondering what they're for, they're for anabolic ice cream, which we put low calorie toppings, especially cereal on it. 
And we also, we got another box of the sugar cookie and then they had this one, which just came to Canada, apple pie toast crunch. If you guys have tried this, let us know what you think. Is it good? Was it worth buying? I'm gonna say yes without even trying it. I think it's gonna be really good. I think there is not a toast crunch that I don't like, to be I, honest. I agree. You dropped it. I made cereal. a mess. It's okay. You don't gotta worry, guys. you eat that one that you broke. Okay. <laughs> Remember when you dropped the eggs one day? <laughs> one time seven winters ago I dropped eggs in the parking lot. And this one, somebody's never let me forget about it. I was like, be careful, don't slip on the ice, you might fall and drop the eggs. He's like, I'm not gonna fall, and then he fell <laughs> and dropped the eggs. I, I made sure he was okay first before I left. Okay, we, <laughs> we got vanilla extract and two fat-free cheese slices. Not There's 22. Not two, <laughs> two packages. <laughs> got it. Then, not many places in Canada carry this in the grocery store. I usually order it on Amazon, but we found this at Sobeys, and this is the Carnation Light Hot Chocolate. As it gets colder, I love having this low calorie hot chocolate because that's my favorite thing to do on a cold night is drink hot chocolate. You know what's really weird? Have you ever had a frozen hot chocolate? Yes! It, I know it's weird, but it's so good. I'm thinking, how do they freeze it if it's hot? Guys, does he not understand? You make it and you put it in the freezer and it gets cold. Well, then it's not hot chocolate anymore. <sighs> it's made from hot chocolate. It's frozen chocolate. Guys. No, you tell them. It's frozen hot chocolate, sassy. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we got Diet Dr. Pepper. This doesn't really, it's not really there often, but today it was at Walmart, so we got some. We went during the thing that happened in the last two years. Uh huh. We went about a year without Diet Dr. Pepper. Yeah, because of a tin shortage. It's fine, we got it now. And then we got fat-free sour cream. And then, wait a minute, how did this get here? Oh, this isn't part of the grocery haul, but guess what? You may as well pause the video and click on the link down below and go get yourself some harder than last time supplements because this protein powder makes the best anabolic ice cream which is the thing that we top it with cereal and if you want energy like me and to be sassy like sassy then this is the stuff to get you there yeah go click that link right meow <laughs> thanks Aaron Doughty because we're using that all day let's go right meow <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got two bags of frozen sliced peaches. They don't have the big bag. That's why we always get two small bags. They should call them hot peaches, right? Because they're frozen. You know, <laughs> he will never stop with the sassiness. Never. Sliced strawberries, one bag. Sliced boiling frozen. hot frozen strawberries. Guys. Now you know that's going to be the theme for the rest of the video, so strap in and be prepared. <laughs> well, don't brag about it. Remember that apple cider vinegar joke that I did the other oh, day? Oh, I remember. How can I forget any of your sassy jokes? And we don't have any today, so the joke didn't work, but that's fine. They watched all of our videos, so they know. They know. They know the drill. I don't know why I'm holding these up at the same time, so they don't really go together, but tomatoes and quick oats. <laughs> it's really slow, long cooking quick oats. And frozen hot quick oats. Yeah. And cinnamon and baby spinach. Big baby spinach that's really big and small at the same time. And I'm gonna do, since Sassy gets to do all his sassy jokes, I'm gonna do mine. Because <laughs> it's a baby. That's how you know if you're at the store, you gotta squeeze the spinach, and if it goes, <laughs> then it's baby. It's a baby, and then you buy it because it's the best. And Don't squeeze real babies though. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. <laughs> or demonetized. <laughs> we have... YouTube doesn't like it when you talk about squeezing babies. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to be the one saying it. We're editing that out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm the editor, so... <laughs> so you're editing it. No, I leave all my jokes. Oh. I get rid of yours. No, he... You know how this works, okay? It's been six years. Mine are funnier. Like when I found my mummy the other day. You'll know if you watched the one video, you know about that. Where's your mummy? Right here. Right there. 
<laughs> we have three cans of mushrooms, the pieces and stems. We love this because we put these on our pizza every day and we don't have to chop them. They're pretty low calorie, there's no cleaning, there's no chopping because they're already in pieces. And stems. <laughs> and stems. And then for our special lunch that we're gonna do, uh, you'll have to wait and check it out. We've got six cans of beans with tomato sauce, the lowest calorie one that we could find. Beans are so good because they're high in fiber and protein. And we got four plain fat-free Greek yogurt and two 1% cottage cheese, the biggest tubs that they have at Walmart. We've got a tomato basil pizza. It's a pasta sauce, but we use it for our low calorie pizza because it's cheaper to buy it in the pasta sauce and it tastes the same. Then we have pineapple tidbits, one can of those, and sliced ripe black olives. Sliced rotten black olives. <laughs> Imagine. But they're ripe. You just. Today's world, you just make up whatever you want, and it has to be true because I said it. Right. So sliced rotten yeah. olives. Yeah. Hot frozen strawberries. And thick and chunky <laughs> salsa. <laughs> Hot frozen strawberries. Thick and chunky salsa. Medium. That's the French side. Sorry about that. Oh, there is no other side. That's silly. And then we got pickles. Baby. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of a baby goat. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Oh, I forgot about the milk. So they didn't, we always get the unsweetened vanilla silk cashew, but they didn't have any, so it's just unsweetened. But this is, if you're looking for the lowest nut uh, calorie, lowest calorie nut milk, it's the cashew. Yep, 25 calories for a cup. So we have two of those and then four liquid egg whites. And as opposed to the solid egg whites that you buy. Guys. Guys, the big blocks of egg whites. I deal with this every day. Sassy. All day. Sassy. Sassy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, you know what to do about the supplements if you want them. Check out the link down below. Also, if you want the recipe for anabolic ice cream, it's in Greg Doucette's Anabolic Cookbook 2.0, so the link is down there for those books. And... If you're in a fall mood, though, in our Guild Free Cookbook, we pumpkin. have the pumpkin pie anabolic ice cream. Yep, we have anabolic ice creams in our Guild Free Cookbook. Favorite recipes, favorite foods without the calories and extra guilt. And we got two weight loss guides, exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds because we've lost 130 pounds and kept off for six years, and I think I already said that. And you can check out the links down below, exact portions, exact meal plans, family friendly recipes, it's all in there. Or you can watch these two videos for free. And now we're gonna lower it out. Whoa. Right, right, right. And this is Grocery Shopping Coolest from the Jungle, signing out. This is a bean PG for you to shake it. Shake it, guys, in your fancy matching suit. <laughs> out. Love ya. See ya. Bye, guys. Bye. ASMR. There we go. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Nicole Colette, she lost 130 pounds. Kept it off. Think you can't learn a thing or two from someone like that? Used to have binge eating problems. Got rid of them. She lost the weight and kept it off. And wait till you try her amazing recipes. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.